Hey YouTube, so just an update of where I'm not on this. So I'm, I'm trying to get the uh, number of things off the I'll do it later list and put them on the I'll do it now list. So I'm out here keeping my nose to the grindstone to do stuff. But, um, just where I'm at. So, lost my little cap for the transmission fluid dipstick. I'll have to grab the end of that with my vice grips, pop that out, and figure out how I'm going to deal with that. Distributor is in mock-up mode. Uh, the vacuum advance thing's pointing out that way. It can either go that way or this way. Um, it was marked number one over here, and that's the number one cylinder, so I think that's pretty pretty good to go. That, you know, ish. Ish, ish. Um... Waiting for my wiring kit, which I have not ordered yet, to come in, and then I'll do this. I think I'm just going to test these out and see how they reach with this arrangement. I would imagine they're going to reach just fine. And then use these as templates for when the uh, new kit comes in. Uh, the wires are about... Oh, an inch and a half, two inches above the header, so I think that's good. Um, there's that. Am I missing a piece off my alternator bracket? There's the top for adjustment and then the front. But is there supposed to be something in the back? Anything in the back? Does it matter? Um, when I mocked it up, it just didn't look right. Another thing it doesn't look right, this nut here, or not nut, um, washer, is very wide. It, this is a larger diameter than the hole in my pulley. So when, the, when it sits up here, there's this gap between the mounting surface and the pulley, and that doesn't seem right. So is this wrong? Is it too big? Is it not supposed to be there? I don't know. So, um, I think I might mess with my wiring harness. I don't have a lot of stuff on the engine for it to connect to. I think I might be able to set up my, uh, connect my oil pressure line. But I think I'll wait to do that. I don't know. Got to, got to... <laughs> There's, I think I'll wait to do that. In other words, I'll do this later. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to do a bunch of the I'll do it now stuff. So that's where I'm at. I want to uh, just thank everybody that's helped me with this project. You guys that helped buy the headers, they're, they're on. And thank you. I want you to be able to hear what they sound like. Uh, this time around, putting this engine in, as opposed to just getting Louise all pretty and running before, uh, I have had a lot of help, and I really appreciate that help coming from a number of different people. It's like this car is a, a community car, but I'm the only one here pushing it forward, so I have to remember that um, people like to see progress on this. And me too. And just coming out here and, I don't know, doing it. The motivation is there sometimes. And I come over here and stare and I see the same problems. And, you know, oh, I have to order that. Well, actually, a lot of stuff I have to order. But, and, you know, I feel the motivation leach out through my feet. I'm just, I'm staring at this going, oh, wow. Oh, I don't want to tackle this now because I'm looking at it one big thing and I do need to buy a lot of parts to like do some next stuff stuff like the battery and cables and heater hoses although since the car will be driven mostly fair weather I guess I wouldn't have to worry about that but I'm going to do it anyway I'm going to put it on anyway um, <laughs> wiring harness yeah so anyway uh, thank you to everybody. Community car. So we'll have to do a community burnout and like that. So.
That's it. Isn't it? Yeah. So now I got to quit with the talking and get with the doing. <laughs>